Okay, folks, I thought to myself it would be a great idea to give you a quick overview over all the drum machines inside of Reason, or all the samplers, so to say, and drum synths also, just for you to know all the benefits from each drum machine itself. For this, I will zoom in a little because we only need to focus on one device only. Um, okay, Rhythmic Drum Machine offers you eight slots with predefined samples. We could change the sample here. We got a cute little library with good basic sounds for different genres and also some sound effects stuff. Um, we got the sample overview here, which we already seen. Uh, we can control the fade in and fade out of this by dragging up these numbers here. And we also could change our sample end or our sample start here. We also got pen and pitch options up to one octave, down and up, for each sample individually. So if we pan the kick to the left and the snare to the right, you get the idea. Each sampling engine gets a separate filter and distortion unit here, so we could easily distort our kick and filter it if we need to. We also got a delay and a reverb for each channel. To change their settings we need to go to Master FX. There's our delay, there's our reverb. We have some algorithms to choose from and we get a master compressor, which is basically just a summing compressor. Also in our Master FX we got a master pitch that goes one octave up and one octave down so we could pitch our samples so if we get something with a tune here like this We could pitch up our uh, tom here over 24 notes, so we even could play a melody with that. But keep in mind, if you want to play a melody with that, uh, you need to exclude this percussion on a second instance of Rhythmic. Because if you pitch... you also pitch everything else in here. Let's take a look at the back. So we see the internal routing here. We got these eight sample playbacks going into eight separate distortion units and going into eight separate EQ, which is the filtering option there on the right side. Um, these go out on these separate buses. So if I want to I could easily say my distorted kick also comes out of here without any effecting except from distortion and the filter. Then our sound gets passed through to reverb and delay as a send effect and then we hit the compressor and after the compressor we hit the EQ filter. Um, the EQ filter is set up here as a master filter um, where we easily uh, could tune out or tune up everything in here. We also could use gate in to trigger our drums or gate out to trigger other stuff 
in reason when ever a drum is hitting. Yeah, that's everything for today. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. This helps a lot and uh, doesn't hurt you at all. Have a nice day. Until next time.